Old Ways Gardening and Prepping. My name is Teresa. I'd like to welcome you to my backyard around my raised beds because I'm fixing to build another raised bed so I can get to planting my garlic. Here is the space where I'm going to be building it. It's going to be an exact replica of this one. Just built a whole lot more streamlined. All of it's going to be recycled materials and I'll show you how I go uh, here in just a bit I've got to cut six uh, of my two by fours so I can frame up my uh, recycled aluminum siding and I will bring you back here in just a little bit okay I have my six posts uh, sawed and ready to go from this mark up is where the siding is going to fit from here down it's going to be packed hard in the ground and once I get them all in I will bring you back I kind of have the layout so far but it'll be more fine-tuned once I get uh, closer to actually putting the siding on and like I said, all of this is recycled. I'll bring you back here in a bit. Okay, I'm going to try to get this video finished. I'm sorry, the neighbors are all acting like animals once again. I have my six posts in the ground. And I wanted to show you. That you want to make sure that you tamp it in really good. And you're going to finish your hole up. This is an infamous cutworm. You definitely want to make sure that you kill them. I usually just smush them. I already know that my posts are not perfectly square, but plants don't care about that as long as I get the raised bed built. I have to post her in. This is why I haven't been able to film for three. This is going on the third day of nothing but fights over there. Okay, sorry, I'm just a little upset that people can't act better than wild animals. All right, I've got my six posts in. I'm gonna go get my screws and washers and we're gonna get this bed built. Now I'm gonna line it with something I've never used before. My other half got it on clearance. It's a brown paper weed barrier. So we're gonna give that a try. I'll be back here in just a little bit, but you can see it a little better now and I'll be back. Okay, here's what I have. It's weed barrier paper. It's infused with organic fertilizer 500. It's approved for organic food production. It's biodegradable, made from recycled paper, and it's supposed to prevent weeds for up to 90 days. So we're going to give this a try. He found it on clearance for $7. It was $14.88. 
and it's supposed to be a hundred covers a hundred and fifty square feet it's three feet wide by fifty feet long we're going to see how good this is and of course I'm going to recycle the covering First thing it does. Yep. Airport. Hopefully these people will behave long enough for me to get this done. Pause it just a minute because I know the alarm's fixing to go off so I can wake up my other half. I'll be back here in just a little bit. Okay, I got the paper down. I'm going to have to cut some thin uh, strips to overlap, but so far so good. Now it's time to get these sides up. And like I said, I'm sorry about the noise in the background. I was blessed with a rechargeable drill, so I'm just tickled to death. Because this one I built by hand with uh, nails. And I'm using uh, one inch screws and I like to use a washer because it also gives it more room to hold. You know, get it going in the right direction. It's been a while since I've been able to use power tools.
not going nowhere. And the good thing that has that helps with airflow inside the bed. I'm gonna pause it just a minute. Okay, now to get the other end. And those are not going anywhere. It might not look the prettiest, but you know what? It's going to raise some food. In this winter, I'm gonna grow my garlic in it, and when the garlic's done, I got a second sweet potato bed. Yeah, baby. Now I'm only gonna screw the ends in because I'm gonna overlap this piece with this one.
to the third screen. Sweet potatoes on. I don't know where that came from. And on the end, I want my tin or my aluminum siding flush with a two by four post. That way, when I walk around them, they won't snag me. Don't need that man. And I'm going to make sure that I do. Well, you still can't see. Sorry. There we go. Well, let me move it back. I'm going to make sure that I do my ends first, that way I know for a fact I have plenty of room. Make sure you push your tin down, that way you get good connection with the ground. Less space for uh, grass to grow through, because grass has this massive determination. Oh, come on.
it's not going anywhere. Okay. That is one side up, and I will bring you back. It's looking good. All recycled material. Whew. And I will bring you back as soon as I get this second side up, and tomorrow's when I'll fill in the gaps with more of the weed barrier bring you back here in just a little bit well i got her built and i also want to mention i'm used to being around construction and plus i took wood shop there was a few cosmetic fixes i need to do she's not perfectly straight but you know what that's beautiful and that's going to be one amazing raised bed now the other thing i wanted to mention if you're not used to working with either aluminum siding or tin please wear gloves i'm used to it i still should have had my gloves on but thankfully i did not get cut but she might not be the most beautiful thing on earth but she is to me now there's cosmetic things i need to do tomorrow in the daylight get the staples out uh add a little bit more of this weed barrier where it didn't fully fit but other than that in the next video i'll be showing you how i prep this bed using some of the spent straw from my sweet potato bed and getting both beds ready to plant my garlic. But, like I said, it might not be perfect. But you know what? I have another raised bed. I want to build several more. I just don't have the straw to fill it. But, all in due time. All in due time. I hope this video encourages you to also build you some raised beds. I was blessed, what was it, last year, or year before last, I can't remember, everything's a blur, uh, of course bugs are coming up here because of the light, but I helped tear down a trailer, um, trailer house, 
and was blessed. All these two by fours I used come, were the studs of the walls. Of course, the aluminum siding was the outside. The end pieces were uh, the underpinning, and I have enough supplies to build many, many more beds. We need to build as much as we can to grow food. Please, if you can, definitely recycle material and build beds. You can build raised beds out of pallets. I've done that. I have one over there to prove it. And I just lined it, lined the sides and the bottom with weed barrier. That bed is three years old now and still doing great. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Everyone, stay safe, stay sound, and stay as positive as possible. And I'm going to close with going over here. I've been double dutying, not only building the raised bed, I have my fire pit going and making wood ash for fertilizer. We've got to go as natural as possible. So this autumn and this winter, save your wood ash. It makes an amazing fertilizer. And I will close with this. Everyone take care. Let's see how pretty it is with the torch off. There we go. That looks a whole lot better. A nice, safe fire making my own fertilizer. Everyone, stay safe and sound. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. And may you each be blessed. Take care, everyone.